Hi guys, um, welcome to this YouTube channel. Um, in today's video, I will be talking to you how I ranked first class in my nursing degree. So the purpose of this video is not to show off, the purpose of this video is to educate student nurses and to support student nurses through their journey. In case it's your first time for, of seeing this face, my name is Shola and I'm a registered mental health nurse working in the UK National Health Service. So I finished university a few years ago, about five years ago now, and um, I went to uni in Northampton and I did mental health nursing. Um, I think over the years I spent time working as an healthcare assistant and supporting young people, young vulnerable people with their mental health. So I decided to take the plunge I went to uni and I did a three-year degree in nursing. For those who don't know, um, t nursing degrees um, requires you to do 50% practical and 50% theory. So that takes me to the first point that I'm going to talk about today. The first point that I want to raise about how I ranked first class in my nursing degree is to maintain a good relationship. Okay, When you go to university, you meet a lot of people. Um, if everyone that you meet will be doing different courses, some people will be doing music, some people will be doing dance, some people will be doing social work, nursing. It's always important with nursing degrees to maintain a really good relationship. For example, if you um, have a friend who does dance, who does music, who is doing geography, um, they might like to go out every night. They might go out on Monday night, Wednesday night and Friday night. But as a nurse, a student nurse studying um, for three years, um, you might at some point be expected to go on placement and at some point you might not be able to keep up with your friends. So it's always good to maintain good relationship and also perhaps have friends that are doing similar courses. For example, you can have a friend that is doing nursing, a friend that is doing social worker, social work or occupational therapist. But I'm not saying that obviously um, don't make friends with people, but it's always important to make the right friendship. So the second topic that I want to discuss in terms of how I rank first class in my nursing degree is the library. It's very important to make the library a place where you socialize. You know, you want to hang out with your friends, spend time in the library. Um, obviously, you're going to be doing some work. At the same time, it's a place to socialize and to meet people. So making use of the library, making use of the books in the library is very important. The third thing that I want to talk about is attendance and relationship with lecturers. Um, a lot of the time, you know, the lecturers are very aware of your attendance. Um, personally, when I go to uni, I make sure I sit at, at the same spot. I normally prefer to sp uh, sit in front where people, where they, you know, where I can see the board, where I'm less distracted and also where the lecturers can be aware of my presence, okay? I take part in activities in the, in the, in the class. I make sure I answer questions, I ask questions. And um, I think that allows you to build a really good relationship with your lecturers. Um, the next top, the next um, area that I want to talk about is placement. Okay, placement carries fifty percent of our grading in university, and I think maintaining having the right um, the right mentality going to placement is very important. I would say placement is time and effort, time, effort, and your personality. You know, time time is priceless. Make sure that you arrive on time. Make sure you're there when you're supposed to be. Um, effort, make sure that if you are, you're told to do something, you do it. And also, when you're challenging things, make sure they're critical, you know, you challenge them properly and you're not coming across as know-it-all or any of that sort of thing. So placement is very important. Arriving on time, putting in the effort, maintaining a good relationship with your patients is very key to um, getting a good grade at placement. Personally, on all my placement, I, I got an A and that helped me achieve a first class in my nursing degree. The next topic I want to talk about is referencing. I always say try and get full marking referencing. Uh, when you reference, you make sure that you're following, um, you're following the Harvard referencing system if that's what you're expected to use and making sure that you're using bold when you need to, you're using italics when you need to, you're using um, your underlining underlining context or text when you need to. Um, personally, I would say achieve full grade in your referencing. Um, 
The other thing that I want to talk about is understanding your classification, understanding how the classifications are calculated. How, how do you know if you're going to get an A? How do you know if you're going to get a B? How do you know if you're going to get a 2, 1, a first class? So on the, web, on the university website, you'll see a place where they'll tell you about the, cal uh, the classification and how it's been calculated. So they might be using the median, the mean, and so on and so forth. Okay. Another thing that I want to talk about is writing your essay. Remember, 50% of your, of your classification comes from theoretical writing. That would include you writing a critical analysis, a reflective practice. Um, that could be explaining, summarizing. In first year, you'll find that most of your assignments will involve explaining and summarizing. So when you're doing that, they don't expect a lot from you. You just tell, tell us what you, can, you know, what you can identify about the topic establishing the keywords in that in that question and making sure that you're answering the question when you get to second and third year you'll be expected to critically analyze and what they want you to do is to take two authors who have different views and bringing them together and actually using using words such as however in contrast putting those words in your essay in your essay to make sure you achieve the right grades again what I'll say is that before you end in your work, you make sure that you're staying away from direct, direct quotations, using indirect quotations to reduce your plagiarism. And also in most universities, you've, have, you've got the opportunity to actually submit your, assessment in, uh, your assignment in advance and actually check in the plagiarism percentage. And also that way you can actually bring your percentage down and ensuring that you're getting full grades for that. So thanks a lot for, um, for watching this video. Like I said, my name is Shola and I'm a registered nurse working in the National Health Service. Um, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the YouTube channel. See you again soon.